Thank you for having us here. The, the great opportunity to drive uh, the new Toyota 86. Mm -hmm. the, the way they, the whole world knows uh, this car by that name, right? Yes, the whole world. Yep, 86 is the global name. And this car has a lot of history, right? I mean, in, in Japan, it started like yeah. how long ago? It's, yeah, so it started with the mid 80s um, night, uh, the Corolla, yeah. the Corolla GTS liftback. But in that history, the Corolla was known as the AE86. Yeah. Uh, or Hachiroku. Hachiroku is Japanese word for 86. So um, that's what the enthusiasts are known for because that car was very light, very agile. It didn't win on power, but it went on handling yeah. and the perfect balance. And now with the modern 86, it lives up to that name because it's also a balanced car is a handle is a handling car, it's a driver's car. So the 86 the name has any kind of relations to the car in terms of any or what just like a code name or what what's the, the origin of that? Yeah, 86? so the original 86 that was on the chassis, the the, 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 the code yeah. for an original one. So uh, a lot of the enthusiasts understand that name and has a has a deep enthusiast feeling towards yeah. it. So for this vehicle, we brought back the 86 and as well as a global name 86 so people could Remember, oh yeah, the 86, the car was light, was fun, and we made this car to make sure that it handles that historical piece. Okay, and now, so the new version, this one that we drive in, just changed the name from the Scion brand, right? Correct. So before it was called Scion FRS, but we, um, when, the Scion, when the Scion brand is transitioned in Toyota, we absorbed it, and now it's called Toyota 86. Yeah. And uh, this car was co developed with Subaru, they have their own version, it's called the VRC. That is correct. So the Subaru has own version as you mentioned, BRZ. So the, diff the main difference is that mechanically they're the same, but some of the aesthetics might be a little bit different. Our 86 is I would call mono spec. So there is no trim level. You only get to choose either the color, you want either manual or auto, and if, when you rather want a navigation or no navigation. Yeah. For Subaru, they have a trim level. They have a premium, which is their entry level, as well as a limited, which is a higher trim. Yeah. But here's the ironic thing. For Subaru, you cannot get an automatic in their base model. You have to pay more to go oh, to the okay. limited to get yeah. automatic. So same exact engine and, and yes. all that. Yes, yep, transmission, engine, power. And there are a few differences in the exterior design? Yes, it's, it, um, I can't speak for the Subaru because um, yeah, no, I haven't, I yeah, we don't have it here, but for the 2017-86, all new is in front with all new LEDs, right? For all the headlights and the back as well. With a new diffuser in the back to control and manage lift as you're cornering through hard corners. Um, but brand new 17 inch wheels and um, a new emblem. And the interior as well, we also, we also enhanced it a lot as well. We added this new suede material called Grand Lux on the dashboard, on the door panel, on the shoulder pads here. It feels very premium. It also re uh, no, uh, gives you more sound deadening and not as much light reflection that might you know, distract the driver when driving. And what are we talking about uh, horsepower and all those kind of specs for this car? Yeah, so the manual transmission has 205 horsepower, up 5 horsepower from previous, and the torque is 156, up 5 from 151 last year. The automatic, we carry forth the same number as last year, 200 for horsepower and 151 for torque. And the reason we did that is because um, a lot of the customer buy the manual transmission are more performance oriented and we want to cater to those customers yeah we're driving the manual but uh, i mean the automatic i'm sorry but in manual mode yes so when you're you're driving in automatic completely you just like leave it where it, where yep. it is but then casual driving yeah when you want to do a, a more, more spirit more, driving yeah you so put just, it manual yeah and, and then, then you use can have the pedal shifters or you use a stick as well the, oh the, you the can lever. do the shift yep. here yeah but yep. this is like more oriented for a sports car like yes. the pedal shifters here yeah, so the automatic is, is, is a best of both world kind of thing. Casual yeah. driving, daily driving, or on canyon roads like this, very spirit driving. Yeah, because uh, I mean, a lot of people talk about the manual transmission. Yes, you have the control, but this is faster this is very good. and more yes. precise, right? Yes, very good. Um, as you see, when you're shifting, the ship is it, it shifts very fast. It also rev match for you when you downshift. It rev match the car for you. Oh yeah. So it's see? right there, right there, it rev match.
here we are, we got lucky. <laughs> yeah, in the manual we, transmission. We, we found the manual transmission. And this is pretty much the, the base car, uh, the base model for... for uh... Yeah, because um, the 86 is um, basically is mono, is mono trim. Yeah. It's mono spec, so there's, there's no trim. Um, you get manual or automatic. Okay, yeah, so like only, yeah, remember now. Yeah, color or um, transmission. Definitely feel the difference. And, Acceleration um, as well because for manual, the, the, the differential gear ratio was changed as well from 4.1 to 4.3. So the acceleration is faster now, quicker compared to automatic. And you definitely feel that, right? Definitely more fun. Yeah, absolutely. Great car. So again, um, since there's no packages, there's like just one trim. Yes. The only option is your color, your navigation, and that's transmission. it, right? And transmission, obviously, yeah. And, uh, but there's some uh, accessories that you can buy through the TRD program, right? Yeah, so the TRD offers accessories such as the 70 inch forge wheels. Each wheel is three pounds lighter. And we also have your front and rear sway bars, as well as a suspension set, and a TRD exhaust and TRD intake. And those are performance um, enhancements for the vehicle. Well, thank you again for the opportunity to drive this uh, phone car, both the automatic and the manual. But it's like even more fun, <laughs> this manual, definitely. I can see why people really, really like this car in this uh, format. So thank you very much. No problem, glad you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon on the next Toyota event, somewhere in the world. Sounds good. <laughs>